All right, so today we are doing a $1,000 video game mystery box. We're gonna crack this open, we're gonna go through it. I wanna give you guys my thoughts on if you should even buy video game mystery boxes, because I do think that's important. Stick to the end, because I will give you guys kind of the overall value and if this was even worth it. So let's go ahead and finally open this. Pull out my trusty knife. I have a lot of these. Uh, I get these from Amazon. Highly recommend them. 12 bucks or something for four of them. So they're about $3 a piece. They give you a bunch of extra blades. I'd highly recommend it. Obviously it's not sponsored. You can find a link for these below if you are interested, but. Anyway, so let's talk about this mystery box. Also the way they tape this is kind of funny. So they basically use two different boxes and wedge them together. I'm trying to open this in a way that I can open it and not spoil everything. So I'll give you a little bit of uh, info of the mystery box where I got it. So this is from Double Jump Video Games. You Brian got to clean some of these games yesterday and look how beautiful they are now. But compared to before he cleans them. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Shipping orders? I am. Yes! Look at all these guys. Oh, can we take a look at that N64 one? Oh, yeah, let's see what that is. Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98, Iggy's Wrecking Balls, Wrecking Balls. You can see, um, I don't rem remember what they call this, they're like mascot, but it's like a fox squirrel looking thing. It's pretty cool. I've been watching some of their videos lately and I knew they did these and I figured why not order one. I'm a very small YouTuber, but I did order with my name and my personal address. Uh, actually, I think I went to the PO box. It doesn't say like Nerd Nation or anything, so I don't think they would have jazzed this up at all because they thought it was going on YouTube. Though I will say they probably don't get a lot of thousand dollar mystery boxes. I would assume they probably think whenever they do these mystery boxes that there is a chance they are gonna get recorded. So let's go ahead and just pull out the first item. Do any of these boxes have candy in them? No. There's quite a bit in here. Also, I was hoping that the sheet was in there, but just give you an idea of what all I ordered. So I ordered, basically they want to know what you want, what you don't want. So I basically said, no Assassin's Creed. I think in the description it says no sports. Basically in the description it said PS2, N64, Xbox 360, Super Nintendo. If they're gonna send plush Pokemon, love Pokemon. So they actually put this on video. I closed before I saw what they were actually uh, buying. I'm gonna watch it after this actually. No idea what we're gonna get, but shout out to them for also not including sports. There's a lot of stuff in here. Like I can tell there's a lot of like disc based games. Okay, so the first game is Sonic Riders. Uh, Zero Gravity for the PS2 is nice and complete. There's a lot of stuff in here. Knowing that there's like at least two layers, cause I can feel the games here. I'm like, what all did they put in here? Okay. That's a good one. Have it at $17.99. That's probably about what it goes for. Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. But it is not spelled apocalypse like you would normally think. No manual. I told them not complete uh, is not a big deal. $35 on that. Forgot to put GameCube on there, but why wouldn't I put GameCube? Okay. There we go. We got Luigi's Mansion, CIB. Pretty good condition. There's just a little bend on that. I'm Definitely not docking them for that. Clean case. So far, all the cases also feel really clean, so shout out to them. I feel like, is there gonna be a lot of GameCube? Another GameCube. Wave Race, uh, Blue Storm, CIB. That's also super clean. This manual is incredibly clean. $18 on that. Also, I don't know if I'm selling, keeping, what I'm doing with any of this. I think it was a matter of, I wanna see what I got first, and then we could kind of go from there. Pac-Man Fever. CIB, a lot of GameCube in here. I think they have a master, so I'm sure all the discs are gonna look perfect. Let's see. Jet Li Rise to Honor. I feel like I don't see this one super often. $10 game, cool. I don't know that I would pick that up for myself, but this is a mystery box. You're gonna get whatever they throw in. Uh, Aqua Aqua, this is definitely not a game I see very often. Disc popped out, but it's not a big deal. Let's see if it Okay, cool. Manual super clean. All their cases are very clean, like very clean. And they are like the official ones because I got the memory card slot. So these are like, the, I might shoot him a message and ask like what they use to clean them. Corvette, I had this as a kid. I played a lot of racing games as a kid. 
five dollars. I feel like that's probably about what it's worth. Also, check out the new hoodie. I got this for um, my mom for Christmas. Shout out to moms for being awesome. Uh, we got Okami. No manual on that one. Again, I told them no manual is not a big deal. Fifteen dollars. Very cool. That's a game. I feel like it's one that I either don't see very often or every time I see it, I'm like, this is going to have good value and then it's worth only about 15 bucks. God of War, uh, the two disc set. It is complete. It's got both discs with special features on the second one. Let me grab something completely different. Oh. Sinran Kagura. Uh, it's a PS Vita game. Big box. Also, I sent the link to Justin, who you sell me a lot. He still does. He does consoles. And he's been very excited for me to do this. So maybe this is why he likes Vita. And this is not something I would ever want, but I could see him wanting it. And then that could also go on Amazon. That feels like a Genesis game. Oh, no. What, what is this? Card Fighters Clash SNK. Is this Neo Geo? What is this? Neo Geo Pocket. When we start getting to obscure stuff, I don't know what I'm looking at half the time. I don't know that I've ever even seen a G Neo Geo Pocket game. Just like curious what it looks like. These cases are cool. I feel like I've seen this. Has this been ported recently to another system? That's cool. Very random. Uh, we got Lord of the Rings Lego. Down for Lego games. Lego games get some hate, but they're actually pretty fun. Walking Dead, I actually do love The Walking Dead, so no manual on that. I wanna know what they clean their cases with because they all feel really clean. We just use like Clorox wipes. Ooh. So we got Elder Scrolls. Steel book on that. 25 bucks. I wish I had the slip cover, but I know exactly why it does it. That's exactly how it came in. And a lot of times uh, steel books don't have them. And maybe that one didn't. Uh, Dark Stone. Okay. That is a, I feel like that's a pretty, un uh, $10 game, so it's probably not that uncommon. It's probably a little bit lower just because it's missing the manual. I do want to talk briefly. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't I don't see a whole lot of CIB PSP games, so 10 and 10 bucks. I feel like that seems like a really good price. If I wasn't recording on my phone, I'd probably look that up on price charting. I feel like 10 bucks CIB seems like a really good price. But talking about mystery boxes, Pursuit Force, eight bucks, and if you should do them. Personally, unless you're ordering for someone like Sig Cooper uh, and Double Jump Games, if you're just buying off of someone on eBay, which fun fact, I tried to do a mystery box, I don't know, like two or three years ago, Zach and Wiki on eBay for like Pokemon stuff. And I was probably doing what a lot of other people are doing, just kind of selling like a lot of junk, but like making sure the junk like was worth more than what I was selling. So it was like a hundred dollar mystery box and I put in like $150 worth of stuff. This is sealed by the way, that's cool. Was at Amazon, that's funny. I don't think you should buy mystery boxes because especially on eBay, it's technically against their terms and service because you're not actually disclosing what you're actually selling. I don't remember, they explained why because they sent me a message and said, hey, you can't do this. What is it? It's not collector's edition, but it's the double disc Skyward Sword 25th anniversary. So one, it's against the rules on eBay, but two, you're pretty much just gonna get junk. Most of the time. Sometimes you're gonna get some sellers that are good and really wanna just help people and they, they're just trying to get rid of stuff and not so much like make a lot of money or they don't wanna go through the effort of selling 20 $10 games. Metroid uh, for the Wii. I'm pretty sure there's gotta be plush in here. Cause when I stopped watching, he was grabbing plush. Ooh, another Vita. Justin's excited because I got Vita. I think I actually had Vita on the list, so that's probably why they sent it to me. Anyways, back to mystery boxes. You're gonna get junk. Most of the time you're gonna get junk. Every once in a while you get a good one. This is a company that I trust and I fully expect them to send me a good mystery box and so far they have. They sent me one $95 game. This is a $100 game. This is a $60 game. GameCube, you know, you never see GameCube, so. I trusted them. What in the heck is this? Is this a CDI game? I think I actually said don't put obscure stuff in there. I might not have. I would never get a CDI game. CDI and this uh, Neo Geo Pocket are things I would never buy. No offense to people that like them. They are actually really cool. It's just we don't. I have zero nostalgia for any of them. I've never heard of them before I even really started doing anything with video games and I'm not going to collect them. But it is cool. 
This is like super clean too. Uh, this will probably end up going to eBay. And this case is cool. So you like push this. Okay, you have to kind of two hands, but you push this and it opens up. Manual here, registration card, and then the disc. This is really cool, but not something I would want. I just, pretty mainstream. I have actually switched from being an Xbox fanboy to PlayStation. I do think the Xbox controller is definitely better though. I don't really like a lot of the PlayStation controllers, but they're fine. Killer Satellites cassette. I do not have a cassette player. I'll probably go to eBay, but it is cool at least. But yeah, don't do mystery boxes. Uh, if you want to ever sell them, there's nothing wrong with selling them, but just be a good person. Civilization 2 and it's sealed. That's pretty cool. 55 bucks. Oof. That's cool. The oof was not the price. That's more like, I realized like, I'm not gonna keep it and selling it on Amazon's not possible. So it's gonna have to go to eBay. Another Vita game, Injustice. And it's got the little paper in it, which is cool. Nice. I'm pretty sure I had Vita on there. Oh, nice. It's super random, but it's cool. So they have their own, oh, they call it DJ, I think. Uh, but they have their own expansion port cover for your N64 with uh, their logo on it. That's actually, I'm going to keep that. That's actually like really cool. I'm trying to tell if it's just a sticker. It looks really nice. Get it kind of close on that. This keeps going. You don't know Jack. I don't know if I've ever, I don't think I've ever played the older versions, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I played this on my 360. Big Race USA, another PlayStation game. This one, I'm gonna hold it, hold off on this since it's in a package and it doesn't say what it is. So I feel like that's like a, hey, open this kind of later. Alundra 2, and their case, they definitely replaced the case on this one. It's very nice. How many discs is it? Oh, it's a, I don't understand why games this big are a one disc game. There's one disc in there. And then if you're ever curious how many discs games supposed to have uh, on the PS1, it'll just show, oh, how many discs it's supposed to have on the side. $25 game. We have Final Fantasy VIII. I need to figure out what play, uh, what Final Fantasy game I played. I played it on PS2. Uh, it's been on my mind a lot lately and I kind of want to track down which one it was. I think maybe it's 10. 10 is my guess. PS1 game, it felt complete. That is a four disc game and they're all in there. Oh, uh, we got a pack of stickers, so we'll probably, uh, we have stickers like on our shipping table. Cincinnati Picker does that and, or at least he used to. I haven't watched this stuff as much lately, but gonna do something like that. Okay, I see a plush. We got a Manfi? What is this? Manaphy, yes, okay. It's kind of like in that era, like I don't know a super well in Pokemon. That's super cute. I felt some others. Oh, uh, Marowak, almost said Cubone. That's cool. It's got like uh, little beans in it. I have quite a few little Pokemon plush, so. Next we got a Chimchar. I feel like he's kinda, it's a little goofy looking, a little sus. I actually have like a love-hate relationship with him because when he was put on Pokemon Go, he was very difficult to catch. Is there another plush? That's Bubble. Oh, here's the paperwork. I said PS1, PS2, Wii, 360, Vita, GameCube, PSP, GBA. That's what these are. These are Game Boy, Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color games. Mix of quality and quantity. Uh, no shooters or Assassin's Creed. So I think their description says no sports. We have hundreds of those. Uh, Missy Manuals is okay. Cartridge only is fine. Good labels on the game. Because that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, if, if there's things that I just don't want to keep, um, I could always try and resell it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was my fault. Uh, okay, we gotta, we're gonna have to put like a disclaimer in the video. I said very obscure stuff such as 3DO and Lynx in this. So they thought I wanted that. What I meant to say is no very obscure stuff. If you throw in plush Pokemon, please. Uh, and I used the wrong throw. Shout out to English. English was probably my worst grade in school. I also hated like chemistry and stuff. Uh, oh, that's really cool. So they have like a Snorlax and a Pikachu uh, with DJ, I think is their mascot, Sam. It's like stickers, bubble. What is this material? Oh, this is like a patch. I was like, this is a weird sticker. You got a sticker, kind of bending, but I'm sure that's pretty normal. So 
If you guys ever decide to do a mystery box, I would probably recommend someone like them. Or if there's other game stores you trust, I think that'd be fine. But don't just do it off some random person on eBay. I'm like scared to see what's in these because like very obscure stuff is not what I wanted. And I literally put it in the description. Okay, this is like Game Boy games. So we got Page Master, amazing movie. Macaulay Culkin. You're the greatest. Christopher Lloyd. You triumph here and always. The Page Master. Chuck Rock. That is that is some artwork. Iron Man, EXO, and Heavy Metal. I've only seen that like once, but I also don't hunt for a lot of Game Boy stuff. Uh, Lock and Chase. And Last Action Hero with Arnold. And then in here, that's so funny that they that I didn't say no very obscure stuff. I'm curious to see what he says in the video now that I totally messed that up. Contra, Operation C, Solar Striker, Quarth. No idea what that is. Maybe we'll put footage of that. That looks like a Tetris clone. Ren and Stimpy, Show, Vidiots, and Casper. 15 bucks. And then this one, I really hope there's not <laughs> something super obscure in here. That makes so much sense on why this was in there, this was in there, and the Vita stuff I technically said I wanted was the, uh, oh, the uh, CDI. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. That was that was my fault. I kind of filled it out pretty quick. I think I filled it out like, yeah, December 30th. So I was trying to get it on taxes for last year. So Jack and Daxter, PSP, Sega Arcade Gallery, Strike Force Hydra. I'm getting older, but I'm not that old. That's just a really hard one to read. Classic NES, Xevious, and Wolfenstein 3D. I think that's everything. What I'll do is I'll calculate this real quick, uh, kind of give you guys a total. And then I'll probably look and see if there's stuff that I'm like, I'm gonna keep this. I'm probably gonna keep the plushes. Anytime I come across a Pokemon plush, I'm gonna keep that. I'm trying to think. I don't really know what I'm gonna keep. This is the downside of everything I do is I also just see video games every day. So it's like harder for me to be like, what should I keep? I, I have to see if I have a Luigi's Mansion uh, in my collection. Very fond memories of playing the Switch version, but I'm pretty sure I have it. They do such a good job cleaning it. Like it's still got like that like foggy look uh, so on some of these cases, but they feel so clean. So I'm curious if they do anything more than just like Clorox or Lysol or anything like that. So uh, I'm gonna get this added real quick and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. All right, so I've gone through everything. Total it all up. I still don't fully know what I'm gonna keep. I'm probably gonna keep uh, these three, Wave Race, uh, Superman, Apocalypse, that drives me nuts. Uh, I bet that must be his like villain name. And Luigi's Mansion, I'm probably gonna keep all three of those. Surprisingly, I might just keep this Neo Geo Pocket. It's just so obscure uh, and it looks cool. And I love the case, so I might keep that. And I'm gonna keep the plush. But the grand total was $1,110. So kind of what I expected, you know, you do about 10% over 10 to 20%. Very happy with that. Next time, if I ever do one again, I will maybe proofread my description of what I'm wanting because I don't know why I put very obscure stuff. And I'm curious to see what Sid Cooper says about that because it's not what I meant to put. It's fine. It's fine. It's fun. Uh, I am actually still very happy with everything I got. If you're looking for CDI uh, or set, sorry, I just don't have a cassette player. I tried to do physical media on some stuff, but music, I just, I think the music scene is like not that bad. Uh, it's not like streaming services. So those are probably gonna go on eBay. And then a lot of this other stuff is either gonna go to Amazon or uh, maybe eBay as well. If you guys are interested in any of this, maybe check out our eBay. Uh, link should be below, but shout out to Double Jump Games. Appreciate the, uh, the mystery box. It's fun to open. Uh, maybe I'll do another one. Maybe I'll do 10,000 next time. Probably not for a while. It's like, what, a third of a car nowadays? I'm out, Gixxus.